melatonin, a hormone that tells our body to get ready for sleep, is produced in the dark. When the sun rises, melatonin production is stopped. In contrast, the speaker states that the common belief is that light absorption triggers melatonin production. Researchers show that sleep patterns are affected by our diet and do not depend solely on light or darkness. Moreover, frequent travelers and shift workers often adjust their sleeping schedules without harming their health. According to the writer, circadian rhythms control our metabolism and affect our eating. Researchers have linked irregular eating in these rhythms to diseases, including obesity, diabetes, and heart problems. Our system absorbs food differently at different times of day, so late night eating disrupts our rhythms. On the other hand, the speaker claims that, in truth, studies have shown that our weight gain is not affected by time. But by the quality and quantity of food we intake. Furthermore, the diseases are dependent on diet rather than the food timing. Finally, the writer suggests that the disruptions to rhythms over extended periods lead to numerous mental illnesses, including bipolar disorder, anxiety, and depression. Consistency is directly related to mood, drive, and general well being. The speaker emphasizes that psychiatric conditions, like depression and anxiety, involve genetics, environmental factors, and personal experiences. Rhythms individually cannot be attributed to mental illness. Treatments show significant improvement even without a specific focus on circadian rhythms. Travel is a memorable experience for the whole life. Traveling with a group led by a tour guide is the best way to minimize environmental impacts and maximize cultural immersion for sustainable tourism. The tour guides enhance the cultural experience by providing historical context and local insights, and ensuring smooth navigation. I acknowledge Samantha's point that independent travel allows for a more personalized and authentic cultural experience. Collective tourism with a tour guide provides deeper cultural insights. Traveling with our family and friends gives us several benefits, including the cost of being divided between individuals, enjoying ourselves together, and not being familiar with the area so that a tour guide can help us. So, traveling with a tour guide is the best choice for sustainable tourism. The article introduces the controlling and mitigating methods of the yellow crazy ant. The ant is a Southeast Asian native and poses a significant threat to ecosystems worldwide. The reading passage outlines three primary preventions against crazy ants. Similarly, the speaker supports the points made by the author. Moreover, he 2. Contributes to the text. Firstly, the writer contends that using low concentration chemicals in ant traps can help decrease the population. By adapting low concentration chemicals, traps can effectively control the ants without harm to non targeted species. The speaker agrees with the text. He explains that species-specific chemicals can effectively alter the population rate by targeting the ant's biology and reproduction without harming native species.
Studies in Hawaii show that this method significantly controls the ant population. According to the writer, removing broad-leaved trees can manage the ant population as they are the favored habitat of yellow ants. Removing their preferred habitat disrupts the ants' necessity and foraging patterns. The speaker reinforces the argument and states it directly impacts the ant population. Additionally, ants' nest sites and sugary secretion are provoked by removing broad-leaved trees. Removing the palm trees would not affect other species. But ants will struggle with their preferred resources. Finally, the writer claims that limited human activities in affected areas can help reduce the ow ant population. Furthermore, human activities and presence can unintentionally contribute to the spread of yellow ants. It can reduce the introduction of ants to new areas. In agreement, the speaker emphasizes that humans and ants correlate. Moreover, human activities attract the insects that produce sugary honey, which ants love. For example, few people picnicking near forests reduces the overall insect population and food sources. It does not directly target the ants but disrupts their food chain and lowers their numbers. The article introduces the impact of e-commerce on traditional retail. E-commerce has experienced enormous growth, changing people's perspective towards shopping. The reading passage outlines three main reasons to cast light on the effects of e-commerce on the traditional market. However, the speaker differs from the points made by the author. He counters those reasons with three contrasting arguments. Firstly, the writer contends that the competition has escalated among market retailers because online purchase provides more affordable prices. And retail shops are no longer the only option for shopping.